Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and around here I like to review fountain pens and ink and paper and all that good stuff. And today I'm going to do just a quick review of the Indigo Blue and Bronze Special Edition Twisby Eco. For a full review, you can go check out the link in the description or at the end of this video where I have reviewed the standard Twisby Eco. What I wanted to show you about this one is what is different. Now I'll start with the box only because this is one of the things that Twisby does extremely well and I want you to know it comes well packaged with good instructions and with a wrench for service and with silicone grease for maintenance and how to use it, how to fill it, all that stuff. I think Twisby does a really good job. They also do stand by their pens, and I found them to be very easy to work with whenever I needed to deal with a warranty issue, and that's something that you don't get from all fountain pens in this price range. All right, so as I said, what I really want to look at is what's different about this pen. So what's different? What's different is the color and the trim. So it's not a total remake of the pen. Uh, I do understand that Twisby feels they've gotten out that cracking barrel issue down here uh, worked out and uh, we'll see over long term if anything happens with this pen. I will certainly let you know. But the main difference here is this bronze trim, the indigo color of course, and that really great looking bronze nib. And I know this color combination obviously isn't going to be for everybody, but I really think that it looks quite good together. So you've got the standard clip and that's done in the bronze plating. And of course, Twisby labeled here on the trim ring and it is the Eco Bronze made in Taiwan. And then this bronze trim ring down here at the piston knob. Now one thing I like about the Twisby Eco, I should tell you, is this. You notice there is this O-ring here. That's so that when you have the pin posted, it's not marring this finish. And I like that attention to that detail. I also like that Twisby Ecos are not prone to dry out. They tend to write every time without hard starts. At least that's been my experience. And I really do like that about these pins. Now back to the special edition, you have their number five Yovo made nib. It's well tuned. It's a good wet writer. That's why I chose the ink I did for this pen. And it just looks terrific with that bronze coating. It will be interesting to see how this wears on over time. And I may check in sometime if there's a noticeable change. But I really like the look of this nib together with that trim. I just think it makes for a pretty cool looking and unusual Twisby Eco. Of course, it's a demonstrator pen, so it's easy to know how much ink you have left. And in this case, it's easy to remember that I put in that Ferris wheel press stroke of midnight shimmering ink, and I've had zero issues with this ink in this pen, which speaks to both the ink and the pen. But no clogs, no issues, writes really well, no hard starts, doesn't dry out, zero issues. It's just working terrific, and it is a really great combo. And as I mentioned in the comments on the review of the Stroke of Midnight ink, when it comes time to clean this pen out, I'll do a cleaning video so that you can see how to clean out that shimmering ink. That was a question that I was asked, and we'll just use this pen. I think it'll be a great test bed to show you how that's done. Now, as I said, I'm not going to do a full review, but I will show you just a little bit of a quick writing test. You notice it didn't dry out even with all my yakety yak there. Let's see if we can get any of that shimmer to come out and play there. I just find this to be a really reliable pin. Again, this is a medium number five nib. And uh, it just, let me do a speed test for you. I think a speed test would be unique to this video and this pin with this particular shimmering ink. This is in real time, talking as I'm doing it. And look at that. Only just a little bit right there. There's a little bit of thinness there. But considering this is a shimmering ink coming through this pen, I think that did supremely well. I would not consider that an issue. There's just that little bit which uh, performed great. So pen performs great, ink performs great, and that new special edition blue with the bronze trim, 
Uh, I know it's not going to float everybody's boat, but I think it looks pretty cool, and I'm enjoying this pen, and I'm really glad to have added it to my personal collection. What do you think? Is this worth getting? Is it, are you going to skip this one and wait for another special edition? What's your favorite color of the Twisby Eco? Share that in the comments below. Thank you very much for liking and sharing and subscribing to the channel and your support in the comments. Always appreciated. God bless you. Have a great week.